Hey guys, good morning. I feel like that's warmed over. Warmed over. I don't know why I woke up with allergies and I had chills and a fever last night. I don't know what the heck happened. I was so cold when I went to bed. I just could not even stand it. I had like four blankets on top of me. I was so cold. In the middle of the night somewhere I broke the fever. Woke up feeling like crap with allergies galore. Like just stuffy, runny nose. Well, I'm gonna have to work tonight. Yeah, I see it. So the girls are playing Twister, which was one of Emmy's games for Christmas. <laughs> we're, playing it. We're, playing, we're playing it twice in a row. So um, right now we're starting out with Maddie in first. Okay, let me, uh-oh, she broke it. <laughs> Story of little sisters' lives. I just posted a picture on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I always have it linked down below. Um, my username is hkd1122, but I posted this really like meaningful picture to me. And the reason it's so meaningful is because New Year's Eve 2015, I took a pregnancy test and you guys know I miscarried in November of, of 2015. And so I took a pregnancy test New Year's Eve because I didn't want to have like a drink or anything, even a toast in case I was pregnant. And it was negative and I was so disappointed because, you know, I mean, after you suffer a miscarriage, it's really hard like the next time around and so I was really disappointed but you know I told on the rest that I remember telling him that day after I took the pregnancy test I was like well 2016 will be a great year like we'll just travel we'll have fun we'll have a great like five-year anniversary and uh, I'll have a great 30th birthday like it'll just be a fun year and then February 4th I ended up finding out that I was pregnant and to much surprise I had no idea because like I said I took a pregnancy test New Year's Eve and it was negative and here we are with a four month old beautiful baby girl. Adam! Hi! Good morning! Hi! Adam! Happy New Year mama! Happy New Year! So it's just funny how life changes in such a small year it's just crazy there I am with my two girls last year and I never thought in a million years I'd have another one and then there I am last night with my three beauties so anyway I was just feeling a little like oh <laughs> cutting stickers over there actually on the rest has been very helpful in doing that Autumn's taking a nap big girls just went upstairs for a nap and quiet time and I am editing last night's vlog it is about 1 30 a little after 1 30 and I have so much footage to go through like this vlog is already 32 minutes and I'm more than halfway done editing it so I hope you guys like long vlogs actually I know you like long vlogs so hopefully you guys enjoy this one and then after tonight I have 10 12 days off I don't go back till the 13th which is a Friday which is crazy I hope it's not a full moon I talked about that the other day and someone asked me if it was true like that that does affect labor full moon like anytime it's a full moon anytime anybody in the medical field will tell you it gets crazy no matter where you work labor and delivery is no different uh friday the 13th i think it's just more of like a superstition type thing but i only have two night shifts left two which is crazy tonight the Friday the 13th and then I work the 16th which is that next Monday and it's my first day shift. Do you guys see the snot rolling down my face? Uncontrollable. I don't know what the heck happened. I really don't. It's crazy. But I'm editing the footage. I keep bouncing all over the place. I'm editing the footage and I know I'm going to get this question like why Maddie has to wear headphones and stuff for fireworks and if you guys follow, I think I talked about it a little bit in the vlog but if you follow me last year she was utterly terrified of the fireworks. I don't think I vlogged how terrified she was. I mean, she was so terrified that she just would run in the opposite direction. So this was like leaps and bounds for her. I mean, she did amazing. And even today, like all day, she's been talking about how brave she was and how excited she was. And towards the end of the night, like at the actual New Year's part of it, like right after all the fireworks had gone off and stuff at midnight, she didn't even have her headphones on. She did so good. So yeah, that's the main reason. But let me get back to editing before I have to go to bed. On to a nap I go. Hopefully, wish me luck. I get some sleep. Good morning. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you playing with your ball? 
Huh? Do you like this ball? Hi. You playing with your ball? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Say happy new year. Oh my goodness, you got so much to say. Hi. Happy new year, Manny. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Emmy! And it's July the 1st. Uh, try a different month. December. The, um... Yeah. What's the first month January. of the Thank you. January. <laughs> Tomorrow I get to sell cookies with Mommy. No, today you get to sell cookies. Yeah, today? When? Oh, careful. Yeah, so actually, she does get to sell cookies starting today. However, I need to set up her website um, so that I could, I know a lot of you guys express interest in buying her cookies. Okay. Happy New Year. Daddy, guess what? I know a lot of you guys wanted to buy cookies from her. I need to get her website set up. Her status was showing inactive in the Girl Scouts group thing. So I need to get that active in the office doesn't open up till Tuesday so don't buy Girl Scout cookies as soon as I get it active I will link it for you guys and mention it that way you guys could buy from her because I know she's super excited so anyway if you're wondering why I'm here and it's 5 20 almost I'm on call I woke up I slept about 45 minutes it wasn't that great I actually did fall asleep though and I woke up with a pounding headache that's actually starting to fade right now I don't know if it has to kind of fell over uh, which is weird I didn't have that much drink but anyway I wasn't feeling the greatest I rolled over got a phone call the charge nurse was like Melissa you want to be on call yeah so it's actually right now I'm on call till 1 a.m. unless they need me and then I go in from 1 to 7 a.m. So, not ideal, but I do plan on calling at around midnight to see if they need me, and if not, maybe they'll let me stay home. But I'm grateful to have at least half the shift off, especially feeling the way that I'm feeling. So, I'm happy. I get to tuck in the girls. Works for me, huh? Yeah, you're so happy. Um, threw the ball when, um, when we were pushing her in the car and Daddy gave the ball to her. She threw it, and then I had to pick it up. When you didn't see <laughs> so anyway, Andres made some hamburger helper for dinner tonight. We had a tea with turkey in the fridge that needed to be used up. Needed to be used up. I don't feel like I said that right at all, but so he cooked that and stickers are still going. I'm trying to get stocked. I do want to have a New Year's sale that I think I'm going to run from tonight, like right now until tomorrow. So if I have one, I will link the coupon code down below. And um, I think that's about it. I'm just going to chill, get them to bed. Hopefully I stay on call that long and then try and take another nap before I have to go back. I already edited the video. It's 30 minutes and 6 seconds. So it's going to take a while to upload. But I'm happy I got that done before. You know, because I would have been out of the shower and eating dinner by now. So anyway, Maddie wants to say something else. Again. Maddie, say it. The camera's on you. The and the bottom, the the back. Uh, girls are having hamburger helper and some grapes, and I'm having hamburger helper Ooh, and water. Mm -hmm. And Hawaiian Well, that's for daddy. Oh, Yeah, I got you. I got you. What happened to the passy? Huh? You spit it out for your thump. <laughs> I give it to her. And oh, she's got her thumb in her mouth. No, don't pull it. Don't pull it. Oh, there she goes. Here. There. Go ahead. Give it to her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. I caught you. Uh huh. There we go. Mommy, I can't, I can't put kisses on the autumn's mouth. Oh. And I'm gonna pack 
So we're still sitting here, 7.35, still on call. I mean, I was, I'm anticipating being on call till one o'clock. So, you know, it's one of those things like I'm either gonna have to go to work or not. I edited my postpartum vlog, which is like, I think she was like three and a half months old, like three and three quarters, somewhere around there. So it's still very recent and valid. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You see mommy talking about you. Aww. Hi. We had her rolling around on the floor and then I was holding her. I fed her a little bit. She just was Hi. She just wanted to watch TV. Huh? You okay? So here in a little bit we're going to get the big girls ready for bed and I am going to sit down and try and figure out my new planner. I haven't been filming a lot of planner videos because they don't seem to be, I mean my vlog channel has a bunch of different things. You guys know this. I upload all kinds of things. You are eventually. Yes. Yes ma'am. Well that mommy said yes. Daddy no. <laughs> no, Daddy. See, Daddy said not yet, but you're going to bed. Okay. I upload a bunch of different videos on my vlog channel. I mean, anywhere from like cooking videos, grocery hauls, vlogs, baby hauls. You okay? Organizational videos, planner videos, crafting videos. I have so many different categories on my vlog channel. My vlog channel is just like a catch-all. Anything that's not beauty related goes on my vlog channel. That being said, planner videos is one of the things that I would upload on here, planner hauls and whatnot. And I still do do I still do do planner videos uh, from you know every now and then. But they don't. You guys don't seem to enjoy planner videos as much as you enjoy other things like baby hauls and grocery hauls. Grocery hauls are my most viewed videos, which is crazy to me because although I do watch a lot of grocery hauls, I mostly I watch She's in Her Apron, Homeschool Mom, I forget what her whole channel name is, and Sam from Happily a Housewife. Sorry, I keep yawning. I watch their grocery hauls and I think it's just because their families are larger like mine. Well, Sam's family is, the, they have five people in their family, which is what I have now. Autumn doesn't eat yet. She still does require, she's part of our budget. She still does require formula and eventually she'll need rice, cereal, and baby food. And so it is still part of our grocery budget. I don't always, you can go ahead, go ahead, yeah. I don't always include everything that we get for her because it's just formula right now, but that is a pretty penny per month. I mean, you know, it's probably anywhere from 100 to $150 worth of formula, so go putty. Uh, so it's amazing to me how grocery hauls are so, so popular. Like the $600 one, Andres is fixing my silhouettes over there, if you can hear him. The $600 one that I just uploaded like a week ago, has over 10,000 views, which is crazy to me how quickly that got views. It's like a lot of you really appreciate that, but because they get a lot more views, I get a lot more hate on them, whether it be like how much food I buy, what kind of foods we buy, um, just different things, which is fine. I really just don't care at this point. I just don't care. I just, I take hater comments with a grain of salt always, especially when it comes to food. I could purchase the most clean foods ever and I would still get a negative comment about it so it just doesn't it just doesn't even matter to me anymore but those are super popular but my planner videos aren't as popular which is fine I don't mind uploading them for those of you that really enjoy watching them so let me know in the comments down below good job Maddie good job <laughs> thank you so I will still upload them if you know some of you really really want to see them but if you really could care less about them I kind of just want to plan on my own from now on I don't know I have the Erin Condren vertical in no I have the Erin Condren vertical colorful right now for the new year I bought a um, Erin Condren hourly neutral to try out and I think I'm gonna try that out this week so let me know if like once I get in a groove if you still want to see planner videos or if like I said you really just could kind of care less. It won't hurt my feelings. Um, so let's talk about how filthy this room is right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Filthy. I mean it's not physically filthy. It's like cluttered filthy. Um, we have things laying everywhere. I haven't full 
did the clothes. We had too much going on. I haven't really hung up any of her clothes. Then I had Emmy bring up all the toys that have not been opened yet. And all of the, well actually I didn't have her bring up games. I don't know why those are here. But just like toys in general that I didn't want any kids playing with. That I didn't want to get trampled. Um, so all this needs to go back downstairs and then fold their clothes and it'll look great. Oh, who's sad? But right now it looks like a disaster. <laughs> like a disaster. Oh, what happened? See, you're fine. Emmy scared her. <laughs> um, yeah, it, yeah, it was an accident. We just have all this stuff to clean up. You ready? Ready for bed? Ready for bed? Who's ready for bed? I'm ready for bed. Wait, let's go pee-pee. Go pee-pee. And I still have a massive headache. Getting the girls to bed, I think I'm gonna go lay down because I don't know what is wrong with my head. It's just like pounding. I literally feel over. But I'm not, like, I mean, really? I, I really just didn't have that many drinks. I can't even imagine this is hangover. Can I see tomorrow? Mighty. Where was that? Um, city. It's 12:40, and I'm driving to work. I did stay on call until 1 a.m. I'm, I'll be clocking in before 1 a.m. Um, but I called around 12:10, and I was like, "Hey, do you guys need me?" They're like, "Yeah, you gotta come in." Ugh. I was like, "Okay," which is only fair because I mean, I would have had to work the whole shift. It's not a big deal. It was worse, I think, going in. At this time, after I was already comfy in the bed, I had to get up and take a shower and brush my hair and actually put on clothes. And so that was, I think, worse than if I had just gone in at seven. However, the time went by really slow at home. And I feel like whenever I'm on call, the time always goes by slow. You want it to go by fast because the faster it goes by, you know, the less likely they are to call you. But it went by really fast, and, I mean really slow. And so I was just kind of at home like twiddling my thumbs, watching shows and stuff, catching up on YouTube videos, editing videos. I uploaded three freaking videos, my vlog, the Kinder Egg surprise opening from the girls, and my postpartum video. So it was like I had plenty of time to do my stuff, which was really nice, I appreciated that, but it would have been really nice to be able to stay at home and sleep because now, even though I got some stuff done at home and I got to catch up on shows, now tomorrow I'm going to have to go home and go to sleep, or to, in the morning, in seven hours. So I'm going to have to go home and go to sleep, which still pretty much ruins my whole day. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm very lucky though that Andres is off because, you know, they're like Monday, everyone's. I guess, I don't know, some jobs are celebrating New Year's, so they have off. So he's off tonight, today, Monday, whatever. And, um, which is great because Maddie does not have school. So she's out, and then of course Autumn's out. So honestly, if he had to go to work, and me having to work, that would have been an awful day for me because I would have got maybe three hours of sleep before he had to go to work. And then I would have been at home with a three-year-old and a four month old so Emmy does go back to school though so that's nice but I almost wish she was at home I would rather have her at home than Maddie because I can trust her a little more while I'm like sleeping she'll sit next to me and watch TV Maddie I doubt she'll let me get any sleep so I'm grateful because at least on the desk is going to be home so I can get some sleep so yeah anyway with that said I'm headed to work I hope you guys have a good night and you enjoyed and we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Bye!